What up, it's Melvin7 here and today it's probably just marquee matchups. Uh, again, I still haven't managed to fix uh, the lights in this room, uh, but that shouldn't be for too much longer. So yeah, I'm in pitch black again. But anyhow, so we've got the Turkish Republic Day set. Uh, okay, Ugh. just Tifos, Bronze, Bron <laughs> Fair enough, a kit um thing i don't know it looks like the arsenal kit to be honest um but yeah i mean i i just am not a fan of sbcs that are just uh cosmetic stuff anyhow um we also have marquee matchups as expected for a i think that was a rare electrum which is a 30k pack better than last week i think they only gave it 25 but anyhow let's see if there's any objectives probably not oh there is oh okay the Witch's Cauldron, which is obviously um, October themed, Halloween themed. Wow, I like that kit. What do you need to do for this? Uh, assist in three separate squad battles match on semi-pro with a max team chemistry of 50. Okay. Uh, play two co-op matches, score three headers in squad battles, assist three goals in any foot mode. Those kits look pretty good. Like, I don't mind objective cosmetic stuff like i think this is a dub but the fact that you've got to pay coins for the the austria thing i know it's negligible probably 5k for the entire set if it's all bronze or silver or whatever but still you know you can earn this and to be honest the kits look much better on this and the tifos and then you get the witch's cauldron pitch trophy too um not much xp there but i, I think that's a win uh, you know it's something different i quite like it uh there's no milestones but actually isn't there a new team event today or is that tomorrow Okay, in an hour this ends, so I might have another video later um, for whatever the new team event is. I'm quite excited for that. Of course, the clocks went back, so that's why they're an hour behind. But anyhow, uh, EA didn't manage to incorporate that one, but let's see what the marquee matchups are. So first of all, um, New York City versus Red Bulls. Minimum silver. Um, okay, that that's good. Usually it requires you to have like eight silvers for the first one. So this is good. Leagues minimum three. Easy enough. Uh, then we've got uh, Leon versus Lille from mixed players. That's a worse pack than the other one. But again, um, players from same league max. But okay, that one's a little bit more stupid considering the... I think that's a... Well, then again, they're kind of similar packs, I suppose. Um, right, anyhow, uh, Athletic Club versus, well, Atletico versus Sevilla, fair enough, for a small prime gold players pack, and then a prime electro. They've really crucified rewards here, like, I don't know about this one. Um, I mean, you do get a 30k overall for it, and I mean, you, you are getting tradable packs, which is rare, as we know, uh, this year for SBC. But right, we're, we're going to do this one again. As I say every single video, just use non-rares, apart from the two rares that you require, but uh, I, I think I've got a couple because of rewards today, so I don't have my usual zero rares, uh, non-rares, but yeah, um, just be a bit more meticulous than I'm being. Um, right, Bundesliga, again, I think it's just one league for this one, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, midfielder, do we, do we actually have any non-rares? Wow, I, I, I thought I'd at least got some in my rewards, but apparently not. May as well stick these uh, Leipzig players in. I still kind of believe that result. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, there we go. We've got one and another Leipzig player. <laughs> um, oh, shit. Uh, I don't have a, a right mid. Oh. Um, gold common. Do we have any? Oh, we do. Okay. Well, there you go. That one was nice and easy for a Prime Electrum Players Pack. Um, then we might as well do it in reverse order, just in case there's a specific requirement. So for this one, you need at least one Sevilla or Atletico Bilbao player. Nationalities, regions, minimum five. Players from same nation. Read. Okay, that's quite easy. We'll just use La Liga again. Um, most of the players I've got in the club are untradeable anyway. Uh, so it's not too much of a, you know, ask finding these things. Uh, I won't have a right wing back. We'll sort that in a sec. There we go. We've got some nice non-rares there. Obviously, I'm not going to chuck Varan in there. Um, Moreno, that's Fez. Do we have anything else? Let's have a look. Um, 
we got a left mid which will be useful for the left back spot uh, so I'm gonna do this switch it around uh, and then I can also put him there put see if we've got a defender actually and then the two forwards and that should be that yeah we'll do that that's fair and then I don't think I've got too many Spanish players there although I didn't really pay much attention so that might be something that we have to address players from same league yeah, yeah sorry same nation yeah we've got three Spaniards there so we'll get rid of Moreno and we'll put a different one in but yeah I'm hoping that I finally get something good from these packs uh, I would recommend that you save them for tomorrow um, you know marquee uh, not marquee matchups the new uh, batch of rule breakers will of course be out team two um, I have no idea who's in there I'm hoping Richarlison's in there because that's who I've invested in um, but yeah I have no confirmed leaks or anything like that right players from same league maximum five goal players minimum three fair enough uh, we'll just go Premier League for this uh, this segment yay we have some uh, non rares which is good yes uh, we use Sayonku. Actually, might as well do it this way. I know what I mean. You probably don't have a clue, but anyhow. Um, I don't think the requirements were nation-based. At least I hope they weren't. Right, that's the five Premier League players from one club, minimum three. Okay, if we've got a Palace player, I'll stick them in, and then that's that requirement done. Um... Yep, we do. Nice. So I'll stick MacArthur in there. Right, there we go. Now we, we need two League One players, which is absolutely fine. So we'll get them in. Okay, we'll get the forwards in. Oh, maybe not. Surely I've got a striker, I imagine. Yeah, there we go. We'll use Brand and then we'll just use a different League. Uh, for the the remaining two players and we'll be absolutely fine for chemistry we're already on the chemistry so that's fine we could probably get away with a couple of bronzes actually as long as I can keep the chemistry as it is we should be fine um, so if I did that and then do we have a center back we had one on that bloody page didn't we yeah there we go right that should be enough yeah there we go that's uh, the rating and the chemistry, so there we go. We get a mixed players pack, which is honestly the shittest pack they could put in there. One rare, uh, four gold, four silver, four um, bronze. Minimum three leagues, players from one club, max four. That's easy again. I'm just going to pick what league haven't I used. Uh, Syria, so I'll use that and then just fill in two random bronzes for the end. So yeah, it's quite easy to complete. I mean, this video can't be that long. Uh, what we're saying yeah it's not even 10 minutes yet so it hasn't taken long at all um, and yeah I haven't had to buy anything I've obviously used things in my club but again wouldn't recommend you using all these rares as I say every single time uh, but yeah I remember the web app rewards used to be those shitty mixed players pack and they uh, they changed that for this year which was good um, but yeah they're, they're still there for the uh, Marquee matchups rewards, which ain't great. Right, MLS players, yes. Okay, so we need one MLS player, ideally a centre back. Uh, MLS, we'll say defender, just to get a little bit more chemistry. Uh, yeah, we'll use you. They, they might be going up, so it might be an idea to uh, sell some of these players. Wow. Yeah, it does look as though the MLS players might have rose to about a K. Uh, obviously, I've only just looked at one there, but uh, right, we'll go for silver common any league, uh, like an off league. Yeah, Romania. There we go. That should be everything. Yep, team chemistry is 80 dope. There we go. Marquee matchups completed in under 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, let's open the packs and hope for a change that we're actually going to get something good here, because uh, yeah, it's. It's been a while. It's literally been two weeks since I've had a walkout. So hopefully we can book the trend today. I've opened many packs today. You'll have seen my terrible rewards earlier. Um, but yeah, right, we'll open my favorite pack first, the mi uh, mixed players pack. See what we is going to get. Not even a rare gold. 
to be honest, you've got a 33% chance of it even being a rare gold. So, you know, unexpected. Uh, sorry, expected. Uh, yeah, it is tradable. Good. He might have actually went for something Brazilian. I don't know what I've been told. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. Right, let's open this, see what we're going to get. So this one is not a board either. Uh, we get a cannonball player, lucky me. Right, uh, we, we'll open them in order now. But yeah, I, I, they've kind of crucified marquee matchups in terms of what kind of packs you get. Uh, but they, they started doing that last year, so it's it's not unexpected, but at least they're still tradable. I think they released a few... Oh my god, what is that? Another Urzel. I'm sure I've packed them about 28 times this year. But yeah, um... I'm sure last year some of the packs were untradeable for marquee matchups at some point. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't hold off. Sorry, I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually are. So is that Danny Ings? Oh, no, it's Bamford. My bad. Uh, Patrick Bamford in form. So I suppose we got a team of the week. Uh, it's not the worst. Uh, I mean, wow, the highest rated player was 78. <laughs> Anyhow, here we go. Rare Electrum Players Pack. These have been dog shit for me this year, but I, I usually like them on FIFA, so could change now. Nope, not even a board. Wow. So marquee matchups was... I mean, I've made profit. I got the inform. That's about 10k. Overall, this will cost you no more than 20k in total. Looks as though there's some decent... Um, well, one decent silver. You might not go for a lot now, but... I imagine when that uh, when the league SBCs drop, he might. I'm going to double check actually, see if I've missed a league SBC, because I'm surprised one of them hasn't arrived yet. Um, it might be tomorrow that they do that. To be honest, on Friday, but I, I'll just have another check just in case, because yeah, it would be me to um, miss it, wouldn't it? But no, no, it doesn't look as though they have. So yeah, that's literally it. The the kit set, as I say, always an L for me. I don't like spending coins on that kind of thing. The Witch's Cauldron, Cauldron objectives are actually pretty good. You know, uh, if they look like some decent cosmetic items for just playing the game. Uh, you can do most of that just while doing other things. The co-op, you can invite your mate, do that in about two minutes. And yeah, squad battles, just do some other things, do the... Uh, the silver beasts at the same time i suppose but anyhow hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace